All right, we're going to look at setting relationships between tables. So Access is known as something called a relational database, and that's a really important concept. Almost every database that we have out there that we use in the real world, most all of them really are relational databases, and they take advantage of this, this great feature in that you can take multiple tables and create relationships between them. So, for example, let's say you have a student database. In the student database, or, or let's just say a school database, in the school database you have students, and so you might have a table that has students in it, but you also have courses. So you might have a table that has classes or courses. So you have two tables, one with students. Each student would have a record, you know, the, the student's name, address, phone number, and so forth. And then you would have another table named um, courses, and each course would have a teacher, would have a, a room number, and so forth. So you would you would you would you have this table of students and you have this separate table of courses. So what you might want to do is get a list of the students or a student and which courses he or she is enrolled in. So you, you, that's kind of weird because the student is in one table and the courses are in another table. So what you would do is you would create a relationship between the student table and the courses table so that basically we, we can go through the student, find the student, and it will look up into the the courses table, the students that are taking that course. So um, this is a really valuable thing to do. We can create relationships between courses uh, and students. So we're going to do this really quick with our customer and our employee table. If you haven't done so already, you should have created the customer table and it should look something like this. And uh, notice it's got an ID number. This is a unique ID. This is the key or the primary key for this particular table. Uh, and notice employee also has an ID, an employee ID number uh, that we would give. Most of the time, these ID numbers are a little more complex than just employee one, two, three, four, or customer one, two, three, four. But, but we went ahead and did that when we created these. We let the computer pretty much auto-generate those ID numbers. But what I'm going to do now is I want to, first off, go to the customer and I want to add an extra field. Now, I can do this. I can do this by scrolling over and click to add up here like we've done before. And I'm gonna, and, um, I'm gonna uh, choose number. Um, and so I'm gonna add a number and I'm gonna call this sales rep. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to assign a sales rep to each employee. I wish I had a, a, this bigger on the screen so you could see it. But so Mary Smith right there, I'm gonna scroll over. Let's say I give her sales rep number three. I don't even know who sales rep, uh, let me click on this and I'm going to add three. So sales rep number three might be for Mary. And then for um, Arnold, we're not going to add a sales rep. Um, well, let's do Arnold because he's an active customer. Uh, so we'll we'll do sales rep number uh, two. And then for this, this customer right here, what is this customer's name? Let's scroll back over. For Justin Ortego, I'm going to add, um, I'm going to make this sales rep number three as well. So three, only um, two of our sales rep, uh, let me stop that. Only two of our sales reps are actually represented here. Uh, sales rep number three and sales rep uh, number two. And uh, we'll see how this works out in just a second. I want to show you over here under employees. So these may be our sales rep. So number three would be Vanessa and number two would be uh, Karen. So Vanessa and Karen are the two sales reps that are going to be working with this set of customers. And only, um, did I say two and three? Let me look at employee two. Yeah, and three. Those are the two um, employees that are going to be working with our customers. Okay, I can go back and forth between these two. All right, so... What we want to do after we've got this particular field added, um, this is going to be the field we use to join the, the two together. Um, so what we're going to do next is we are going to create a relationship between these two tables. And we do this by going to Database Tools, and we're going to click, uh, uh, click Relationships. And we're going to create a relationship between these two these two tables. So I'm going to double click customer. I'm going to double click employee. And now I've added these two um, tables 
to my relationships tab here. Uh, I'm creating relationships between the customer and the employee. All right, so what we wanna do All right, what we want to do is is join these two together, so to speak. Um, so we, uh, you can first of all, you can make this bigger. I'm just clicking at the bottom and dragging this down so you can see all of the fields that are in these two tables. So what I want to do is I want to create a relationship between the sales rep that I've just added to customer and to the ID of employee. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to Hold on, I'm going to pause just for a second. So I'm going to go up here to edit relationships. And it gives me this edit relationships um, window here that I can create or edit relationships between these two tables. So I'm going to um, I'm going to create a new relationship. And the left table name is going to be customer. And the right table name is going to be employee. Now I'm going to relate the left the left customer table, the left customer to the customer table. I'm going to relate it based on sales rep. So I'm going to scroll down till I get to sales rep. Okay. And so on and then on the right table, I'm going to I'm using the ID number of the employee to relate these together. Okay. So uh, the sales rep will be in the customer table and the customer table that the, the customer that has a particular sales rep number like sales rep number two will be tied to tied to the employee table based on that employee um, that employee ID. OK, so I'm going to click OK. And I can do some things um, um, down here at the bottom. I'm not going to worry about those right now, but I'm going to click the join type. And what I want to do here, let's let's just think about this for a second. Only include rows where the join fields from both tables are equal. That would mean that the employee ID would have to be equal to the uh, sales rep field in the other table. But we're going to what we're going to do here is actually include all the records from all the records from customer. Let's do all the records from customer and only those records from employee where the joined fields are equal. OK, we'll talk more about that, but that's what we're going to do right now. Only all the records. We're going to get all the records from customer and we'll pick up then uh, just the ones that have um, in the sales rep number. It'll pick up those records from employee where they're equal. So I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, click create. And notice it draws a line here for me and the arrow points this way. We're creating uh, a relationship between the customer table and the employee table based on the sales rep number that we put in the customer table and the ID number as it appears in the employee table. OK. Okay, I'm going to close that out. Do you want to save the changes? I'm going to say yes. And so now I'm back to where I was. All right. All right, to demonstrate what, what can happen here, I'm going to create a quick query. I'm going to go to home and I'm going to go to create. I'm going to create, I'm sorry, create a, um, a query. So I'm going to use a query wizard and I am going to do a simple query and I'm going to use the table, the customer table, and I just want the customer's ID, uh, their first name, and let's say their last name. And then also from the, that's from the customer table. Now look, I'm going to take something from the employee table. I'm going to take uh, the ID of the employee and I'm going to take uh, the first name and the last name of the employee. All right, so I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna go ahead and open the query to view the information. I'm gonna click finish. And if you'll notice what's happened here, I've got customers. Let's look at this for a second. Customer number one is Mary Smith and she's been assigned uh, employee three, which is Vanessa Gonzalez. Uh, and uh, Vincent has been assigned customer number two, Kieran Thompson. So the others haven't been assigned anybody. 
yet. So we can go back and change that and we'll see that that relationship um, will. Okay, I had to pause just for a second because when I looked at this, it wasn't what I thought it would be. But um, what I did was I had not finished entering uh, in the customer table the uh, the number three here. So he was not showing up. But let me go back and let's see what's happened here. Okay, I'm in the customer query. All right, so in this customer query, notice the customer Mary Smith, right, um, has been assigned to employee three, uh, Vanessa Gonzalez. That's a Mary Smith's uh, sales rep. So Vanessa will be the contact person for customer Mary Smith. Vincent Arnold, the customer, um, the, the customer, um, I'm sorry, the sales rep is Karen uh, Thompson. And notice Hong Nguyen doesn't have a, a, a the sales rep assigned. Uh, Justin Ortego has Vanessa Gonzalez. So actually, you see how there's two Vanessas here, right? Uh, because um, it, it's the same Vanessa. That sales rep has been assigned to two different customers. So in this case, we have customers and we have sales reps, and we the, there'll be this. Uh, it's a one to many. There's a, um, a relationship. One customer ha may have. Um, I'm sorry. It's the opposite. It's a one to many from the sales reps the sales rep a one sales rep may have many customers i guess is the assumption here all right so at this point you should have a customer query that looks like this that combines the info from all three tables or the two tables i should say so what you're going to need to do is i want you to for this assignment i want you to print the customer query right here and um let's um also print the uh, relationship so the way I, what i want to do to get the relationship is i go to database uh, tools uh, i click on the relationships and i if this isn't big enough um, if this isn't visible bring it down and i want you to print this i uh, do a, a screenshot of this so a screenshot of the customer query this right here showing the combined tables and a screenshot of the relationships all right um, we're going to name those your name, customer query, and uh, your name, relationships.